Uh, what, a, what a great RMAC tournament soccer game. Um, I mean, that's kind of what it's all about. Uh, we knew when we saw the draw, when we saw the result that Metro had against Mines, we knew that it was going to be an extremely competitive, uh, good soccer game. Uh, Metro State, in my opinion, is one of the best teams in the conferences, and I think one of the best teams in the region. Um, and I think a lot of people saw that most recent scoreline against them and saw that it was 3 nothing in our favor. Well, I can say that that wasn't a 3 nothing soccer game. Uh, that scoreline should have been a lot closer than what it actually was. It, 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 it didn't tell a couple late goals on our end. Um, I think you got to tip your cap to Metro State. I thought they had a great game plan. Uh, they played with nothing but heart and desire, um, and they made a lot of our lives incredibly difficult today. Um, I thought on our side of things, we didn't necessarily look like we have um, as of late, especially in that there was a 30, 35 minute period in the first half where we really couldn't get anything going. Uh, we couldn't link too many things up. And, Again, I think you got to tip your cap because of what Metro did and, and how they affected the way that we play. Um, that said, I thought the second half, uh, I thought we looked a little bit more uh, like we should. I thought we played a good second half. I thought we played a good two overtime periods. I do think we were a little bit unlucky not to finish the game prior. Um, but I think you got to talk a bit and talk about the character that we showed, um, the composure that we showed in, in, in the shootout. Uh, all of our PKs were fantastic, and obviously never mind the fantastic save that, that, that our number one made. Don't even have much going through my mind. I, I have full confidence in my team to score their own PKs. Um, so I don't even, it's just my, I think it's one of my nervous habits I don't like to watch. Um, so I let them do everything. I have full confidence that they're going to put the ball in the back of the net. And when it's my turn to go on the ball, I go through my routine and just kind of figure out where he's going to go and I make my decisions. You know, we've talked about him a lot um, personally because he's taken seven, eight PKs throughout the season. Um, I think the majority of them have gone to the side that I went to. Um, he's a, he has the same habits as well. He has a routine that he goes through. Um, I kind of was able to throw him off just a little bit, I think, um, in my own mind. But you know, he, he took a decent PK, and I just was able to read it. And just luckily made him sit. Oh, sure, yeah. I did this week in training, and we spent a couple days with, with penalty kicks at the end. Um, I think what we do as a staff, uh, what we're trying to do as a staff is really see who wants to step up and take it and who is capable of taking it. Um, but geez, I mean, the shooters that, that we put up there, I mean, I don't think they could have done a better job. Um, you know, it's, it, 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 it's interesting because it's not a part of the regular season, um, so we really don't obviously talk or address it too much in training uh, before tournament play. Um, but these are those... These are those types of games that you have to figure out how to win, and in our sport, all too often it comes down to a shootout. So I think the positive with this is, is we saw it, we accomplished it, and we're able to move on in a tournament situation. Um, and I think my hope is that that pays dividends for us moving forward. Well, I mean, it was a ball. I, I thought about hitting with my left, but I decided to cut it and shoot it with my right, which I only do often, and it's happened to score. <laughs> They, uh, I think they were pretty excited in Luis, and, and we were, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal soccer player. Um, he doesn't trust his right foot enough for the technical ability that he has, and I think we're all pretty happy that he trusted in that situation. Uh, but it was a great goal, and, and my hope now is that he starts to trust it, both when he shoots the ball and passes the ball and dribbles the ball, because he has it in his bag of tricks, and I think now he knows that he can do it. This is also coming from a guy who last night sends us a message uh, of being midnight and wakes most of us up and says, guys, I just got woken up from a dream and I scored with my right foot. <laughs> and it just so happens that it just comes with his right foot. So, just crazy things happen. <laughs> well, time to dream. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think one of the things that this group has shown throughout the year is we are, we're capable of coming back into things. Um, you know, it's never ideal to fall down one nothing. Um, it, 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 and, and I mean, Gillis, I mean, he, I tell you what, he's in fine form at the moment. He took his chance and he finished it. Um, but it's, it's not ideal, but I, I think because of the situations and experiences that we've had this season, we know that chances are we're going to come back into the game because we've done it just about every time. So I don't think they panic. Um, they do show, sh show signs of frustration at times. 
but that's part of sport, isn't it? Uh, when you're competing and you want to win so bad and it's, it's not working in your favor, you get frustrated. But I think they, the, the guys deserve a whole lot of credit for just putting their head down in the second half when we're down one nothing and just playing. Uh, keep doing what, you, what we do, what we preach, keep playing hard, keep playing for one another, and chances are things will work in our favor, and unfortunately they did tonight. Um, it happened to me, it happened to me. Um, I, I was being confident, and uh, to be honest, I said, I would just hit it for my grandpa, because he was my role model and, uh, a few years ago, and was that it? And I, I think Moshe is that type of player that we haven't seen too many moments that are too big for him. Um, and that's what we said over on the sideline is knowing that he could end it. I looked over at Stan and said, I'm going to be really surprised if he doesn't. Just because he's able to calm his mind down and, and, and I think that crucial moment, whether it's setting up a goal or whether it's scoring himself, I think he just has that innate ability, um, God-given God ability to, to just kind of settle things down. And I think he did that and what a PK to finish the finishes. You guys advanced to Sunday. What's you gonna stay and watch the second game? What's Saturday look for you? Look like for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have uh, we talk about it all the time. I mean, they're gonna enjoy it for for, for the night. Uh, they're gonna enjoy you know earning the right to, to play for another trophy uh, come Sunday. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll come out to training tomorrow. We'll get some things right. We'll we'll, we'll rest some bodies. Um, but we are gonna watch the game tonight. I think it's gonna be a wonderful matchup between Regis and UCCS, and uh, we'll try to do some scouting and see what they're going to look like going into Sunday. But we know whoever we, whoever that championship game is against is going to be a wonderful game of soccer, and I think one worthy of a championship here in the conference. Yeah, you know, it's exciting. Um, I think we had a great turnout tonight um, from students and family and friends. Um, so I'm extremely ecstatic for Sunday to come out and have a chance to win a trophy in front of our own home fans on our own home field where we have not I haven't lost the game yet, um, knock on wood. So, you know, we're excited to do it at home in front of our friends and family and have that ability to, to celebrate in front of them and give them what they've uh, been showing us support for.